Hi everybody, Steve Sheets here with Ghost Ranch Communications. Uh, wanted to talk today about grouping objects, when you should do it, uh, why you might want to do it, and what to do when PowerPoint won't let you group an object, which is something we'll cover here in just a little bit. But first, let's just talk about groups for a second. Uh, got a couple objects, and if I select all of them, I'm here on the Home tab, I can go to Arrange, there's a Group button. There's also a Group button on the Format tab, or Ungroup. This can also be done with key commands, Control G, or Control Shift G to ungroup. Use command if you're on a Mac. Another great feature that PowerPoint has is it remembers groups that had previously existed. So even though I only have one object selected, I can go up here and say regroup, which can also be done with Control Shift J, and uh, it'll make that a group for me again. Groups are awesome because you can use them to make easy selections for fixing things like alignment. Um, like right now, I just aligned all of these in relation to the slide real easy. Uh, the spacing between them is making me crazy, so I'm gonna ungroup them, evenly distribute them, and even if I only had one of them selected, I could do Control-Shift-J to regroup. And now I can uh, make universal formatting changes to them, things like fill color, text, whatever I might need to do in addition to those alignment issues we covered. And uh, you can also do things with groups that would otherwise not be possible with animations, like having them move in unison. Um, I'll just ungroup these real quick. This is actually one of the issues of groups with animations if you make an object part of a group that has an animation on it, it'll break the animation, and same thing happens if you have a group and you break the group, you break the animation. Now those had all moved in unison earlier, but now I'm coming in from the left and see they move individually at different speeds, so different circumstances, um, you know, you might wanna have a group or not in your animation, um, they're also just really good for keeping related objects moving in unison, formatting in unison, you know, whatever you need to do. That's, that's the main point of them. But what do we do when PowerPoint won't let us make a group? Well, first let me show you an example of when that's going to happen. And this, this is typically when I stumble into this, you know, I've got a list of text here. It's only a few bullets. It would look a lot better if this list was a few objects instead of a list, because who wants to read a list? So real quick, just going through here and we'll get these formatted a little bit. Um, Great feature of PowerPoint is the format pane. Right click any object, go down, format that object will be near the bottom of your list after you right click. And uh, I'm going to just put some like margins on the left and right of the text here. We'll line them to the middle, get rid of the bullets, make these boxes a little bit wider give them a fill color. All right, so now I've got these three objects. I'll evenly distribute them, align them there. Now I want the three of them to be in the middle of the slide. I could eyeball it, but I want it to be perfect, so I'm gonna try to group them. And hear the air sound, PowerPoint's not letting me do it. Um, Let's check here on the group button. See it's grayed out, I can't click it. So what the heck is going on? Well, the problem is that those objects were made from a slide that was using this layout, and one of those objects is 
this placeholder object. Um, the list was typed into this placeholder. So PowerPoint is, tell, is saying or thinking that this object right here is still that placeholder object. And it is absolutely correct. That's what's happening. And you can't make groups with placeholder objects. What I've got to do is make it no longer a placeholder object. To do that, I'm just gonna press Control X to cut them off the slide. My placeholder reappeared, so it's like making you know a new one. It no longer recognizes the old one. Um, I could delete it, or you know what? Let's just do like a little header here for the three objects below. There we go. Now I got like a nice little kind of title for them. Um, and we don't want bullets on a title. That'd be silly. So paste those guys back in, and now Control G. They group because it's no longer part of that placeholder object. And it's gonna work out just fine for me. Look at that, right in the middle. All right, well, thank you so much. I hope this was helpful for everyone. Please be sure to check us out at ghostranch.com where we'll help out with all of your, uh, your sales enablement materials, design solutions, um, all things PowerPoint, we're more than happy to help with and lots of other handy blog posts and things like that. So thank you so much. Check us out online and we'll see you next time. Thank you.